Hi guys, so I'm back on here real quick. I told y'all yesterday when I did my mukbang video that I was going to show you some stuff that I bought at the Goodwill bins. Now, I forgot to film it before I started selling some of the items. Sorry about that, but I will show you what I do have left, which is a lot anyways, because I went twice to Goodwill bins. And we'll see what y'all think. You can leave down in the comments what you think. I'm going to tell you where I'm going to try to sell it to also that may help y'all know where I'm selling. I'm not just, I sell the Play-Doh's Closet. I'm going to sell the um, Once Upon a Child because I have some kid stuff. I'm going to sell the Uptown Cheatsgate. I have a local consignment shop in one of my nearby towns that does consignment. You have to put it on hangers though at their shop. So I took some dressier stuff there because that's what they take. They take more like women's and men's dressier stuff. Then I have another consignment shop. She'll take up to 30 pieces, no hangers. And I will take some nicer pieces there also, you know, like not as dressy, like more casual dressy, you know, not just like a plain color t-shirt to there. I'll show you that stuff. And then of course, like I said, play it as an uptown and I'll see where we go from there and see how much we can sell. So what I did is my bin store is $1.49 a pound over so much. I bought 29 pounds worth the first time. So it's $47. And then the second time, I spent about 50 something dollars. I did the math, it came out to 82 cents an item is basically what I paid per item. I did the math, so you know, figure that out from there however you will. So this first batch I'm gonna show you is gonna go to that re one of the resale shops I told you about. I already took the stuff to one of the resale shop that wants it on hangers, I already took the stuff there so i won't have that stuff to show you but i will show you maybe if i do another video what they didn't take and i may try to take it to play-dohs but they probably won't take it because if it's men's stuff especially so it's gonna be hard to see because i'm in my car filming this and it's on my dash because i don't have a tripod and my husband's thing right now so i have no way to really i'll show you the brand and then i'll hold it up further so i got this high high fee high thieve um skirt dress thing i don't know if it's a skirt or a dress i think it's just a skirt white skirt cream colored white thing and it's got the straps here so that's why i don't know if it's a dress or a skirt and it's a medium i thought why not try that because it's good condition no stains none of that because you don't want to buy stuff with stains on it if you can help that's one little tiny they may or may not take it just depends i've got this cute little polka dotty shirt here that's got no sleeves perfect season for that i thought that was kind of cute and it's dot divide H&M. It's an H&M divide. H&M's cute. So she'll probably take this. If she does not, then next it'll go to Play-Dohs. I will freeze. Oh, and I have a clothes mentor in my area. I forgot to tell you all that. That takes women's clothing, like Play-Dohs closets. So they do consign. They don't do consignment. They just do pricing. Oh, these I forgot to zip. I need to get this super zipped up for her. I'm on the video with y'all. So I got these nice pants, these women's, I think these are women's. They say they're size six medium dockers. I think they're women's. Sorry, that's the best I can do for this. A pair of pants. But I can't keep a pair of pants unless I'm assuming they're women's because they're not measured like men's. So she'll tell me whether or not she'll take them or not or if they are men's. And I don't know it, but pretty sure it's women's then I have this cute little shirt that I think she might take it oh no she won't sorry it's LuLaRoe she does not take LuLaRoe I forgot about that I gotta put this on a separate pile it's cute and all but she does not do LuLaRoe because of the way something I don't know anyway she just doesn't prefer to take Lula Rose. I will put it on my dash. Of 
there. I got these nice pants. Let's see what brand are they? Elliot Lauren. They're size eight. Nice pants. I got a zip and button. But I'm also going to get into selling on Poshmark and Macari. I've done it once before. I sold like one thing on there ever. And it was makeup once. So. Leave down in the comments if you know how to sell on there. What you need. I think you got to get a scale. So you can weigh it. And know how much to charge for shipping. So they know. Because they'll, they'll tell you it's this much. And they'll do the label I think. So we'll see. If she takes those. If she does not. I will take them elsewhere. I will see who will take them. Then I got this Susan Graves style small shirt. But very cute. I think this is summery like. It's kind of fall summery like. It's it's very cute. It's not missing. Oh, it's missing a bead. Maybe. Yeah, maybe missing one gem. But she may still take it with one gem missing. I don't know. If she does not, I will list elsewhere. I may not be missing one. I really, it's hard to tell with those beaded gem things. So I'm going to do two separate videos here because I have so much stuff. I can't fit it all into one. I don't think to upload on YouTube. We'll see. I'll see how far I get. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to take to her. This is very cute. Summery flowy. It's like short sleeve. It's very, yeah, very fashionable actually. I wouldn't wear it because it's not my size. It's Jody, Jody Full. It's very cute and flowy. And my mom would love something like this, but it's not her size either. My mom wears stuff like that. I do not. I am very picky about what I wear. Like, as you can see, can't see it very well, but I'm in an all navy t shirt. That's what I wear the most. I don't know if she'll take this because I don't really know the brand and it's very thin. Ultralight by Cabernet. We'll see if she takes it. She may not because it may look faded. But we'll try there. And then if not, we'll try other places. We are going to do our best. We, like I said, I bought all this at the bins to resell. So we will see. And I've already made, I got $30.20 at Plato's Closet today. And then I got seven dollars and eighty something cents, I think, at an uptown at a um, Once Upon a Child. Plato's took sixteen items for the thirty dollars, so that's good. That's a little bit of profit as far as how much per item I paid. Now it's not profit all over all together yet until I paid everything, got all my money back for everything, of course. But it's a start. This cute shirt right here, I think she will take, and it is in the brand of Intro. It's very cute, giving leopard vibes, I guess, leopardy vibes, right? Very cute style. I don't know what size it is, because it doesn't have a size in it. I would almost wear it if it was my size. Okay. I thought it was a stain in there for a second. Sorry, guys. I'm looking at it while I'm showing you to make sure I didn't miss stains on stuff. You know, places won't take it with its stain. D and Co. Denim and Company. This is a Denim and Company florally shirt. Cute. Large. I think she'll take it. I I really she's hit or miss on things sometimes. You know, like any places. So we'll see if she takes that. If she does not, like I said, I will recycle stuff into other places and last ditch effort. I will try to sell myself on Poshmark and Macari and maybe Depop. I don't know how to sell them. I'm learning how to sell them there. So I will figure it out as we go. This dress, I think she will take. It's American living dress. It's a size 14. It is not um, casual wear by any means not like you'd wear it to you could wear it to a wedding but it's not wedding attire i guess so it's not fancy enough for a wedding so i think she'll take it this 
is one that I'm not sure I don't she may not take it is the brand Unreversal Thread Universal Thread sorry Univer I can speak and I can read if it's not in cursive sorry I have trouble reading cursive but anyways this cute piece I think she'll take because it's different we'll see I'll have her give a look over of that too. And then I got one more piece in this bag and I'm going to put it all back in the bag and then I'm going to go through the next bag with y'all. This she may not take. This may be too old lady looking. I'm going to do something my grandma might wear, but it's woman within. It's a size 1820 large. This would fit my mom, but I know my mom would not wear this. This is not her style. This is more like my grandma's style, but this is cute. She may or may not take that. We'll see. Put this back on my bag. Three. So I'm going to count these as I'm putting them back in my bag to tell you how many I'm taking to her. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eleven, twelve. Twelve out of this bag. Now I've got more stuff to go through that's hers too. So I will go through that and then I will do another video. Uh, or I may fit the kid stuff in this video and then do Play-Doh separate because Play-Doh's got three bags. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. I may have to upload three videos. Now, this is a cute shirt, but then it had a stain on it. So, I think, or something. Something about it, but I don't remember. Anyway, that wasn't going to go to her anyhow. But yeah. So I got this cute Disney shirt. Now it is not, it's a Hanes shirt, not a Disney Disney. So they may, she probably will still take it. It'll be a little less than what I would normally get. And with consignment, you have to wait on it to sell. And then you get whatever it's half. At her place, you get half of what it sells. At other consignment, you may get less. Like this other one I take to, it's 60-40, I think. And one of them that I know of in my area, um, I've never sold there and I never will because they take the super high-end brands as I'm going through this. They take like the Gucci, the Armani, the Louis, the really high, high-end brands. They want like super high-end brands, like real expensive stuff. So, another cute top, flowy. I think she'll take it. It's, it it's cute if she won't let's see what size is it i don't think it's Ak akira akira i cannot read that other but there you go if you can see that but yeah it doesn't have a size in it so i have to figure that part out it's cute but i don't think it's my size so that's two things so far oh Plus the other stuff I had counted. This I thought was stinking cute. My husband actually found it in there in the bins. It's an extra large. It says True Infinity and Beyond. It's Buzz Lightyear. She may or may not take this, but she does take some Disney stuff. It's Calm Zone Collars. I don't know if it's a men's or a women's shirt, but some, some time she does not do men's consignment. But some men's things she will take and sell because women will wear it. Because especially Disney, they don't care. Universal stuff. So I got three pieces. 
<coughs> Sorry guys. Frog in my throat. And it's been a long day. This is a mine medium. Cute little flowy top. I think she'll take it. And then it's got this on it. I don't know, but it's a little messed up there, but she may or may not take it. I don't know. We will see. That's number four. Then there's this. Oh, it's inside out. I need to fix that. But yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's actually inside out. But it's a top. Oh, shoot. Okay. There it is inside out. It correctly. Now, let's see. What brand is this? It's stars above. Sure there's no stains. I don't know if this is a nightgown yeah, or actual top, but anyways, cute. She may take it. And then in here, let's see if I can find it, is the matching pants. So that's why I said I don't think it's pajamas, but what's weird is the shirt. Oh, it's an XXL shirt. Okay, and these pants. Or an XXL pant, but the pant looks bigger than the shirt. Stars above. Pants, we'll see if she takes these. If she doesn't, I will try to list them eventually myself. And then I will probably go back to the bins at some point, but it'll be all because I'm in the process of booing. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six items. If I if I miscounted, sorry, hold me to it later in the comments, people. This is so stinking cute. I don't usually wear top I don't like tops like this where it does this hole there on the sleeve. But a lot of people either saw it after tops like that. And look, it's low cut in the back. Which people like too. I don't know if it's the front or the back. Which uh, that's the back and that's the front. But yeah, I think this will sell really well. Eight. I got some more pants to sell to her. These are all navy. She may not actually take these. We will see because she's. These look pretty good, but she is very picky on pants because she has to be now because she just doesn't have a lot around. There's nothing wrong with them. They don't show a lot of excess wear. So if she won't, I will probably sell those. Nine. Yeah, this is getting too long. I'm going to have to do a separate video just for the kids' stuff. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place with my videos, too. When I tell you stuff. This she will not take right now because it's thin, but it's long sleeve. She may not take it. But I'm going to take it in just to see. It's more like quarter inch sleeve. We'll see. She may tell me to hang on to it. It's Susan Grave. It's so stinking cute. I'd nearly wear this myself if it was my size. But I ain't a 1X, so it's too big. Now this next piece is really cute. I'm gonna see how I can show it to you. The best. It's hard. Okay, here's the top part of it. It is... If you can see that, it's a cute dress with a belt. I think that makes number 11, right? Somewhere in there. Y'all can go back, watch the video, and y'all see how many I have. This. This I thought was cute. It's a little flowy top. It's very see-through, so very good for summer, for a beach cover-up. You want something fancy kind of each cover up, right? Let's see, and I got another dress here. That body, boom, face that. And before I sell it to her, I gotta go put it in another bag or something. Because she does not want trash bags. I can tell you that right now. That shop doesn't want trash bags. And Focus Studio. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell y'all what brand this was. This shirt. That last shirt was Liz Claiborne. 
me see if I can get a brand on this dress. I don't think I can easily. No, I cannot. Sorry, guys. I did not get a brand for you on that dress, but this one, like I said, is in Focus Studio. Sorry, that was a message on Messenger. Very cute. I think she might take it. She might not, but like I said, I may sell it myself if she does not. And that is everything I am taking to her. That may be a few extra pieces in 30, but not by much. So she'll probably just go through it all real quick. In and out, we'll see what she takes, what she doesn't. Have a good day, God bless. Look out for my next video, it's gonna be kids consignment and slash up, once upon a child. And then I will do Play-Doh's in its own video because it's gonna take forever because it's a lot of stuff. Have a good day, God bless.